double to the front. Science is everywhere, even in the stories. I will tell you stories and then the science involved in them. Stories first. A smile story is a fun story. In fun way, it teaches kids the basic science of cutting and measuring. I am sure even the grown-ups would enjoy the story. So, let's hear it. Little Ismail came running from his school. As he got his new uniform, which he had to wear on the very next day for his special performance, he tried it on and he screamed, Oh no, my pants are too long. What should I do now? Maybe I should ask someone's help. He rushed to his grandma's room. Grandma, grandma, please alter my pants. Just cut them short by two inches. Fold them and stitch them. Grandma was relaxing and listening to the radio. She said, Of course, yes, Ismail, but where are my glasses? Ismail tried to search for her glasses, but he couldn't find them. So then he thought, Maybe I should ask my mother. She won't require any glasses. So he ran to the kitchen and said, Mother, mother, please alter my pants. Just cut them short by two inches, fold them and stitch them. I need them for my performance tomorrow. Mother was cooking in the kitchen. Hey, Ismail, don't you know, we are expecting many guests tonight. I have a lot of work to do. Please, I will help you later. His smile was dejected. Now he thought, who should I ask for help? Maybe I should ask my sister. But will she help? Yesterday only I had teased her. Hmm. But still he goes to sister's room. Sister, sister, my lovely sister. Brother, brother, my monkey brother. Oh sister, please alter my pants. Just cut them short by two inches, fold them and stitch them. I need them for my performance tomorrow. Do you think I will help you after what you did yesterday to me? No. Go get help from someone else. A smile was sad. Now whom should I ask? Maybe I should ask my auntie. Yes. He rushed to his auntie's room. Auntie, auntie. Auntie was lost in her painting. Yes, a smile. Auntie, what a nice painting. Is that so? Or you want something else? Auntie, can you please alter my pants? Just cut them short by two inches, fold them and stitch them. Oh, yes, a smile. Why not? But can I finish my painting first? Then I'll help you. Please. A smile was sad. He thought, Today everyone is busy. Maybe I should do my work myself. Then he took a pair of scissors, cut his pants short by two inches, folded them and stitched them. Then he said, I'm all set for tomorrow. Soon he was dreaming about the next day's performance. <sighs> After some time, Grandma came to his room and she saw Ismail fast asleep. She was not knowing that Ismail had already altered his pants. So she took the pants, cut them short by two inches, folded them and stitched them again. And then she said, You are all set, my lovely boy. Sweet dreams. And then she left the room very quietly. After some time, sister came to his room and found Ismail fast asleep. She was not knowing that Ismail and Grandma had already altered his pants. So 
she too took the pants, cut them short by two inches, folded them and stitched them again. And then she said, We're all set, my monkey brother. Sweet dreams. And then she left the room very quietly. And after some time, mother came. Now mother was also not knowing that Ismail, grandma and sister, they all have already altered the pants. So she too took the pants, cut them short by two inches, folded them and stitched them. And she said, you're all set for tomorrow, my lovely prince. Sweet dreams. And she too left the room very quietly. Now, after some time, auntie came to the room. She also found a smile fast asleep. So, she was also not knowing that everyone else has already altered the pants. So, she too took the pants, cut them short by two inches, folded them and stitched them. And then she said, you are all set for tomorrow, my lovely boy. The next morning, he woke up with full energy. He brushed his teeth and had a full glass of milk. Then he picked up his uniform and he screamed, Oh no, my pants have become shorts. Who did it? Whole family members came rushing there and just said, Oh, you only told us to do so. He smiled, sat quietly for some time. Although his smile was very angry at first, but then he realized everyone in his family loved him. So he had a smile on his face at last. Thank you. What a funny story. Ismail wanted his pants to be cut just by two inches. Each one of them cut it by two inches and the pants became shorts. Got it? Now let's see how the scissors work. Scissors have three parts, blades, center point of joint and handles. Look how two blades are connected at the center point. It is also known as fulcrum and make our cutting so easy.